In Rwanda's capital city, Kigali, high school teacher Tom Stibigamba recently achieved a goal that seemed impossible just two years ago. He got a loan and built a house. And we also talked about the arch. Before now, this government employee never knew when he'd get paid, which meant he couldn't make scheduled loan payments. But now salaries are paid on time through a new system implemented by Rwanda's National Bank, so Tom's can get a loan. Because the pay is little, saving it is rather hard. If you don't get a loan, it is hard to improve your social economic uh, welfare. Getting paid on time may seem like a small improvement, but the program has allowed thousands to borrow money, pay bills, save and invest. The new automated payment system has also made it easier for the government to send much needed stipends to students at the National University of Rwanda. First of all for me, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an orphan. So if I, did, if I don't get that allowance, that means that even I, could, I couldn't come here. With technical assistance from the World Bank, the three-year project streamlined and modernized Rwanda's once archaic banking system. At a training session, HR Administrator Devota Twizermana says she used to rely on spreadsheets and calculators to tally salaries. Mistakes were made, people's names were misspelled, and withholdings for health care and taxes were sometimes miscalculated. The new computerized banking program is benefiting the poor of Rwanda as well, giving them access to financial services that save them money. Sure. Before, most people carried wads of cash around because checking accounts were unpopular. Now, transferring money is much easier and far less expensive. Before it was only uh, one or two companies and they are monopoly for sending money. But now it's not like that because of the competitions, the prices have gone down. That's helped Dominique send Zarakor. He sends about $20 a week to his brother who lives outside Kigali to help support the family. The mobile cash provider he uses adheres to the central bank's updated regulations. Jean T. Uwajaneza is receiving funds from her uncle for medical treatment. The pregnant young woman says before there was no system she trusted to receive money. Easier transactions, on-time payments, regular salaries. These are the things that help build financial security and a future for Rwanda.